Jean-Paul, usually you've been interviewing people. You have your own show. Yes. Uh, we've met before in my previous trip. Yes. Probably a year back. Yes. Same season. It was before Christmas. Yes. And um, and I've enjoyed spending time with you. That's from good. Ever since we became friends, we meet at least once every two days when I'm here in Melbourne. Yes. Now it's my time to interview you. Sure. And I'm going to ask you all kinds of questions. Are you ready? Yes. Let's ready do it. Day? Let's do Perfect. it. So let's start by introducing yourself. Tell me more about yeah. you, your family, where you're originally from in Lebanon, and uh, how you ended up in Australia. Sure. So, I'm Jean-Paul Milhim, and I live with my mom and dad. I have older brother. I have uh, two nieces, one nephew, and my parents are from in Lebanon. Um, they always tell me where they are from, but um, I always I, I don't know why, I always, uh, it's not very good for me, maybe I should take more interest and um, listen and know where they're from. Um, I was born here in Australia, in Melbourne, um, and love Melbourne, love Australia, love Lebanon, and um, you know, and yeah, that's, that's how it all starts. Okay, so let, let's put it into perspective and, and understand uh, what it is. Tell me more about, about your your uh, your eyes. So you yes. do not see. Tell me no. what do you see. What it is. Sure. So Explain yes. Explain everything for me. So I was born with a syndrome called Bardet Beetle syndrome, um, and it, it affects a lot of different parts in the body. And then at the age of four, from my disability, uh, the, the syndrome, and from family genetic, I was diagnosed with type one diabetes. And then in 2009, uh, from my syndrome, I got declared legally blind. Um, so I still have a bit of vision and I have tunnel vision where I can only see straight, like little dots, and I can't see on the sides. So what do you see me? How do you see me? Right, can, can you explain yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I can explain it. So right now, I can see you very well. Um, I, can see, I can see you have a very nice shirt on. I can see your... Uh, face, I can see your beautiful hair. Um, you know, right now when, when there's daylight, I can see, I can see good, but when, and, and there's, when there's light, um, but during the night when it's dark and there's no light, I can't see very well. So I can't, I can't see anything, I can't see the person, and you know, from time to time, that gets very hard. And on the sides, you cannot see. So if I yes. move now, I start moving, it will become harder for you to, to know yes. what's in front of you. Yes, that is, that's how, correct. How do you look at food? How do you look at plates or things you eat? Oh, that's, that's a very good question, Anthony. Um, look at plates, look at food. Um, so yeah, I would, I would concentrate on it and I would look um, straight at it and I would have to go, not a lot, but a little bit forward to, okay. to, to the plate. How hard it is to, to live this life? How, how did you adapt to it? How, tell me about your day to day. Is it hard to adapt? Do you think yeah, you imagine yourself as a normal person and you have your own way of saying things? That's, that's a very good question, Anthony. Um, you know, when, when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, um, you know, it was, it was very hard. It was very challenging waking up, you know, being legally blind, um, you know, having not a lot of vision. It was hard, and um, I used to say a lot, why me? But thank God I have a strong family, I have a strong network, team network, um, very strong mum and dad, um, and they, they said to me, you know, look, look, look how you're living, you have a good life, um, you know, you, you've got good people around you, you've got good things, and then slowly, slowly, I started to grow up, mature, um, a lot more into adult life, um, and I just started waking up into bed, you know, the last, probably uh, recently, the, fi the last five years recently, I just started getting out of bed and I start to say, thank God, I have a good life and I just keep going and I, and I do things. So you, you've done a, a radio show and you yes. didn't want to stop. Why yes. a radio show? Like TV? You like being filmed? Do you like to speak? You like to that, ask people questions? That's a, good, that's, that's a very good question, Anthony. I love media. And when I finished high school, everyone said to me, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to see your life? I said something in media and I didn't know what it is. An opportunity came in radio and my mum said to me, take it. Op you know, take the opportunity. Um, and I did with um, 
a support worker. We started a disability radio show once once a week, um, talking just everything and about disability. And then from there, the opportunity came into doing my own podcast show. Tell me about Mariana. Mariana, oh, what can I tell you? Uh, Mariana. You she, like Mariana, you enjoy uh, Mariana. Tell me about that day yes. you spent together. Yes, so we, uh, the opportunity came from Mariana and we spent uh, one day a week and we go out in the car and we have our own food blog as well and we go out, we just have a good time, we talk, we chat, we laugh and we eat food and we both love it together. For, for a person with disability, for people with disability, yes. What would you tell them? Believe in yourself, continue. How would you of be course, yeah. a reference and uh, giving hope to people that probably are like you or have a disability but are not facing life? That's a very good question, Anthony. Um, you know, for people who are living with a disability, um, I would say to them, if you have a dream and you're thinking about something, uh, to start something, go for it. Um, you know, and... and you know, you, you love something, um, go and do it, go and chase it. And, you know, and if you have the right, uh, the, the support network of team behind you, that's very good as well. You feel blessed to be in Australia and having all the chances of Australia taking care of you? Yes, Australia, very good country. And we have a very good um, support system and very good government in this country. Your parents are amazing. Yes, they are. I, I, I mean, I don't know how they do it. They are very strong people. They are very good people. Um, you know, they're, 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 the, they're the best. What's your biggest dream? My biggest dream? Ooh, that's a very good question, Anthony. Um, my biggest to, to keep going um, in, in what I'm doing now, so my media, the podcast, keep doing that, keep pushing in it. Um, you know, keep, keep meeting good people like you and Mariana and a lot of people. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe in the future to be like my parents as well, like my mum and dad. You're the best. Thank we're you. Not, we're going to do, do a game, you and me, today. You know what? Okay. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be with you sure. for one hour time. Okay. I'm going to blindfold myself. Yes. And uh, you're gonna help me understand what I'm eating. Sure. You're gonna help me see what you're gonna eat. You're gonna help me sure. feel it. You're gonna tell me and tell everyone your experience when you have a plate in front of you. How do you, how do you feel it? How do you taste it? Do you think your other senses are more developed? Yes, they are. So um, smell, taste, hearing. Yeah, they they are more um, stronger than my vision. Okay. So now it's for my time to. Uh, to get blindfolded and we start. Let's do it. Enjoy your coffee. You too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ta-da-da-da. So, Mr. Al-Hayat. I'm not sure these are for eating. It's, I'm happy I'm not blindfolded yet. Yes. Yes, give them outside. Can I come on the wallet? No, no. These are the hot napkins, remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's coming after. Yes. Leave it on the side. Yes. So, now we're going to have um, I'm going to have a little bit of 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 أكد أنا مش عم زعبك طبعا يقول لك عبر تو جان بول؟ يس عم تسمعني؟ يس اوكي اوكي شو إذا أنت في إذا أنت بأوضة في عتمة إف يور إن أ إن أ دارك روم يو وود سي وات أم سينج ناو إتس جاست إتس جاست بلاك فول بلاك يس فول بلاك أند إف سمون كومز تو يو أند بوتس هيز هاند أون يو يو وود فيل هو إز إت أو يو نيد تو هير ذير فويس؟ لا أو 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 then touching, mm -hmm. but yeah, I need to hear that voice as well. Okay. Yes. So yeah, it, 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 my it is challenging now, huh? but I'm adapted to it. Okay. So now, do you think my sen my other senses will get uh, more awakened because I'm, I can yes. see? Yes, they, they should. Where's the food? 
Are we doing today or tomorrow? Okay. Can I film this first? Okay. Yeah. So. So. To start. First, I'm pushing the shaker. He's removing his hot. The Are you eating the uh, popcorn? I haven't started yet. Can we take it back? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna start there, Anthony. Is this a pancake? It's a crumpet. It's a crumpet. Oh, you know what the crumpet is? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. Wait. And then, I think it's better for it to eat with my hands, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, yeah, then we have a started cutting. Yeah. So, so, can you see what you're eating? Can I see? Yeah. Um, a little bit. Okay, what do you see? I see, Tell me, help me. I see that we have food on the plate. I think this is so heavy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys see it? <laughs> Still heavy. That's really big, Anthony. Is there that? No. Okay, so tell me please what you're seeing. Too big. Yeah, I see a big thing on the plate. Okay. A big pumpkin. Okay. And it's got things in it. Yeah. On the on the crumpet. Um, what? Well, yeah, I think for the health plate. Yeah. yeah. So um, what what did you taste? A very nice pancake. Thank you. Yes. Crumpet. And probably lemonade. Yes. Yeah. What did you taste? Jean Paul, I'm counting on you. Explain what there is on the plate. Um, this trumpet is very heavy, they're very generous, huh? Yeah. It's like 100 grams. Did you eat or not yet? I, I have eaten. Okay. You like it? Did you taste the zapper? So crumpet, zapper, lebanese. We did toast it on one side. That's, yeah, very That's nice. it. Anything else on the plate? Yes. More stuff coming? That's the mother. Just so you get one mouth full of everything. Zata, lovely crumpet. Yeah. There is a vegetable, crunchy vegetable, dry vegetable. Ah, yeah. Uh, is there, is there olives? No. No. Is it, I think it's is the the main no. enough. No, maple syrup. That's it. Get the maple syrup. Don't mm. Mm. Don't tell anyone. But I'm not sure they use the maple syrup well. I didn't feel it. <laughs> I just felt it. Ah, you did? Yeah, very young. Did very you feel good. sweetness? Yes, a little bit. In there. Come on. It's all about acidity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Okay, I'm coming. Isn't it you guys? <laughs> 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 it's a bacon. Ah, bacon. Okay. So that's that's the, the sticky yeah, stuff. Oh. I thought it's a uh, beetroot. No. Okay. okay. Now it makes sense. Very good. <laughs> Bravo. Good job. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, very nice. The bacon is amazing. Yeah. What's next? Record, record, it's still recording? Yeah. Wow. How good was that? That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> you smashed it. <laughs> the bacon is delicious. I know. And uh, what about the vata is it? Vata is good. Mm. Oh, avocado. Ah, that's what it is. Now imagine the food, the plate that was here in front of us. Yes. You definitely need some of it. 
Yes, that is correct. You cannot do it wrong. No. And do you ask questions? What's this? What's this? What's this? So you can understand the flavors yes. when you cannot see? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll ask. So I'll ask what's on the plate? What am I eating? Um, and the person who helps the cut, like cut it up on my behalf, is a small pieces, big pieces. Wow, this is so challenging. Yes, it is. One really appreciates everything we have, the five senses. Mm. What's your favorite food? Oh, good question. Um, I love chicken. Mm -hmm. I love um, like a little chicken. Okay. Um, what else do I love? I love tapule. Nice. What I need in the, in the Lebanese food. Um, what else do I like? I love a pizza, a good pizza. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? But I like, those, those are my favorite, but I like to eat anything. I love food, like you. Beautiful. What's Mariana's favorite? What, what do you like about what Mariana does? Ooh, I love her croissant. I love mm -hmm. a, a good sour croissant. Oh. And a pistachio croissant. Um, and when I come here, sometimes I'll get a nice plate with eggs um, and smash avocado. Beautiful. So we're going to wait for Mariana to continue to, uh, yep. to get us our second plate. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the experience with you. Thank so you. now on the next plate, I'm not sure what's, what's coming. Um, I want you to give me more description sure. about how you feel things, how you see things. You see colors? Yes, thank so, God. Not, not all, um, but I see uh, some colors like blue, yellow, red, white and black. Mm -hmm. um, that's mainly... And orange? Yeah, orange as well, yeah. Okay. Green? Green, yeah. not a lot. That's a bit hard. So if you see a tree, what would be the color of the tree? Ooh. Yeah, see, that's a good question. Um, so you have your own explanation of green. Ready? I am ready. Next. Okay. Okay, what do you think we're eating next? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Looks like we haven't got a plate yet. Yeah. Okay. Hands off the table, please. I heard something. Yes, we've got plates. Plates. Rapor, do you use the knife or your hands? I use cutlery, so I use knife and fork. Fork? No knives? No, dear, that's knife. Let's close here, please. Ah, there we go. What have I picked up there? Yeah, that looks like a fork. And now I've got the dog. What do you feel? Tell me. Talk to me. I've got it to the plate. Okay. It's good. I've got it to our food. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Looks like a triangle. Triangle? Yeah. Okay. Is it hot? Huh? It's round, sorry. Okay. It looks, sorry, not like the time. It looks round. What is it? I don't know. I haven't dig, I haven't digged in yet. Not really. Some busik? Some busik? No. Pasta? Yeah, it tastes like pasta. Asta. There is a um, good acidity yeah. coming from uh, the tomatoes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> is it bolognese? I think so. Maybe. What's the texture? Texture. Okay, I, 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 will, I will check. Mm. No, the good thing is that it's a dough, it's mm. pasta, and it's cooked al dente, it's not overcooked. Yeah. That's a nice plate. And then I feel the tomatoes, they go up to my nose. Try this, JP. What's that? And there's something inside. Is it... What do you think that is? Is it a meatball? Yes, that tastes like meat. Yes. Very good. Well done, guys. Do you think it's good quality or are we going to have a stomach ache later on? No, very good quality. Cook very well. Yes. Jean Paul, thank you. Thank you, Anthony.
let me remove and see what we ate. Oh, this is good. Yeah. So I'm a little meatball ravioli. Ah. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Generous. Yes. Uh, balanced. Good quality ingredients. Yes. Very so I'm happy uh, to spend time with you. Me I'm happy you enjoyed it. Thank you. And I'm happy to share with you a nice meal. So probably we'll do it again and again every time I'm here. Inshallah. Absolutely. You're, you're bringing me on your show again? Yeah, of course. I yeah. like it. I enjoy it. I would love to have you back on. Next time we do a show, you and me in the car. Yes. You drive. <laughs> I can't drive. We'll get Mariana to drive. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not. You're very good. Thank you. Thank you. Say goodbye. Yes, we should. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.